We are honored to have our next speaker join us, State Superintendent of Public Instruction, Tony Thurman. State Superintendent Thurman has served the state's educator as our state's education leader since 2018. Last year, he told an important step forward, forming a statewide literacy task force focused on improving reading results by third grade. He recently said he was restarting that task force by saying, we intend to approach this in a comprehensive way to build both strategy and capacity to help the state of California address literacy. Please welcome State Superintendent Tony Thurman to the California Reading Summit. Superintendent Thurman. Thank you, Dr. Childs, and uh, thank you, Kareem. Uh, I just had a chance to follow some of the conversation. I just stepped out of uh, some meetings that we have going on today, but I'm really excited to have a chance uh, to join all of you in the California Reading Summit. Thank you for your commitment to helping our students, our children, our families be able to engage um, in literacy because we can. Um, I, you all know, and, and, and we've heard this uh, many times that when uh, children learn to read, they can read to learn anything. And it is with that as a premise that we um, engage in a number of activities to support literacy in our state. Um, certainly as our children are working to uh, bounce back beyond some of the challenges of the pandemic. Uh, I note that literacy reading is one of the ways that we can support students. We can help them build skill that they can carry um, for their entire life and to carry um, in ways that will uh, support them. Um, you know, before I worked in uh, politics, before I was elected for the last 15 years, uh, I worked as a social worker for more than 20 years and worked in nonprofits and often worked with young adults who were either in foster care um, or, or in the juvenile justice system. And we've seen the challenges, but we've seen what occurs when young people do not learn to read. Um, and so we've got to help make those changes for our students. We know that. Um, but the entire time that I've worked in this work, we've always talked about the importance of learning to read by third grade and uh, for decades. And this is a goal that has eluded um, students in the country. Um, and I believe that we can get there. And so I've made a bold promise that we will help all students in the state of California learn to read by third grade. It's unacceptable that we should ensure that every student who enters a kindergarten this year uh, be in a position um, to be able to read within the next few years by third grade. And so that is the way we are anchoring our work um, and how we move forward. Um, as you note, Dr. Childs, I did name a task force in the fall that was focused on how uh, we can um, uh, accelerate our efforts to support reading for students in California. California has cobbled together lots of resources um, that can be helpful in the effort. But we want to really move together with more intentionality uh, in how that happens. It's a big state, and um, but we have to make sure that we uh, find a way to put together uh, a plan that allows us to move uh, with intentionality uh, in what we do um, in reading. Uh, you know, the state has invested um, in uh, a statewide comprehensive literacy plan um, that talks about the best practices for how to uh, achieve literacy for our students. Uh, we have standards and frameworks for how to support English learners um, as it relates to literacy. Uh, we even have uh, a number of funded initiatives that are researching um, the best ways to support students with dyslexia. Um, to come up with better ways to screen for dyslexia and to support students um, who experience uh, uh, learning challenges. And so a lot of work is happening um, and there's more that we can do. I am pleased to announce that California is now investing $250 million uh, in helping to bring reading coaches and specialists uh, to the schools that need it. Our school districts that uh, uh, serve many students in need will receive grants of up to uh, a minimum $450,000 each so they can bring on reading coaches and specialists uh, to support our teachers and help to center the work um, that te teachers do around literacy so they can teach the best practices and how we teach our students to read uh, so we can work with our families and do family engagement. And I was excited this year to uh, announce our partnership with Footsteps to Brilliance, um, providing what's essentially $27 million worth of uh, digital uh, literacy, um, you know, through, um, you know, more than 500 different books, uh, online books and activities and structured activities that can help to support a love of reading. 
um, and in this particular uh, practice um, uh, with uh, Footsteps of Brilliance, um, there are also uh, many um, bilingual uh, activities. Uh, certainly, uh, the activities have been translated into Spanish, and we're hoping to work with them to translate the activities into other languages uh, as we go forward. Uh, we're excited by what this Reading Coaches and Specialists Initiative offers, um, and uh, with it comes money for professional learning and to support uh, students going forward and support their educators um, to be able to highlight the best practices in teaching literacy. And we're excited by what those opportunities present for us. We've got a lot of work to do, uh, but this is a great step in the right direction. And when you put that together with what we're doing in California with Universal Preschool, um, you, know, you know, again, just doing readiness, making sure that our students get access to uh, early education, um, making sure that our families are engaged. We, we, we created a whole new unit on how we do family engagement in our state, and we're working with great partners like First Five California to do more outreach uh, to our families. We're working to make sure that our libraries have more content, um, that our schools, both uh, school libraries and community libraries, have more content and in multiple languages. And so this is a key moment for California. Um, when we put all these resources together, um, I'm confident that we can help our children to learn to read by third grade, and I'm confident that we can help to develop a love for reading. Um, as we speak now, we are rolling out the grant for the reading coaches and specialists um, to what will be more than 125 school districts. And so uh, that means that we now will have a cohort of groups that we can work together um, to help uh, build out uh, literacy practices and provide professional development and provide directed instruction and intervention um, to support California students. We've got a ton of work to do around recruitment of more teachers in our state to be able to make sure that those coaches and specialists can remain in those coaches and specialist role. Um, oftentimes they get pulled into the classroom um, and clearly the entire nation is experiencing a shortage. Uh, but we want to again, move with intentionality to make sure that those coaches and specialists are in a place to support our teacher workforce and support our students and our families. And so we'll keep you updated on all things that we're doing uh, to uh, help to build out that workforce, recruit coaches and specialists, make sure that best practices are being provided, great training, and we're centering um, all of this work and what's best for our kids and making sure that we prepare them for the future. And so I got to jump back into the meeting, but I just wanted to have a chance to greet everyone here and thank you and um, look forward to working together with everyone who's part of the Reading Coalition and part of today's Reading Summit. Thank you, Dr. Childs. We'll see you soon. No, thank you, State Superintendent Tony Thurman, for your time and being here with us today. I know you have to jump to another meeting. Can I get one? Oh, he jumped quickly. <laughs> oh, he's on there. One quick question for you. Um, there's a quick word that the California Department is, it, Department of Education is hiring a state literacy director. Quickly, because I know you got to jump to a meeting. What role do you see this uh, person playing in helping districts improve early literacy programs? Thanks, Dr. Child. Anyone who's interested in it should take a look at our webpage. We do have a posting on the California Department of Education webpage, and uh, we have a lot of great people working on literacy in different ways, and they're putting out grants, but we're really bringing on someone um, to really center the work and best practices, someone who's worked in literacy for a long time, someone who can really help our state. We've got a really big state, and uh, without a state mandate, um, districts often are doing different things. They may be using different curricula. They may be using different training. We can't train that. We can't change that overnight. But having a statewide literacy director who's steeped in literacy and steeped in best practices uh, for how to help our children learn to read uh, will help us to uh, make important gains and to organize um, the various partners uh, who are working across county offices of education. As I mentioned, we're going to have 125 different school districts uh, who are receiving grants for reading coaches and specialists. We want to move with more intentionality while we are cobbling together a more comprehensive plan for how to move things forward. All the resources that exist and anything else that we need to do to get there. So uh, please encourage the folks who are on the webinar to Check out the web page if you're interested. Um, please submit your application. Um, uh, I'm grateful to the task force uh, uh, folks who are serving as advisors to me and to the Department of Education on Literacy and anybody who wants to make a difference. We appreciate your help. And um, again, we will help our children achieve literacy uh, and by literacy. We've defined our goal as literacy and by literacy. Um, and we look forward to the, to the great work ahead. Thank you so much for your time today and keep doing the amazing work that you're doing. 
the chat has been <laughs> lighting up with a lot of different ideas and things for you all also. Um, but so keep the chat open, keep providing those ideas and State Superintendent Thurman, keep up the amazing work you're doing. And thank you for being a part of the California Reading Summit.